The U.S. Army's long-held goal of providing improved overwatch to ground forces is being realized with the fielding of the General Atomic's Gray Eagle, a derivative of the popular Predator unmanned aircraft. This has become especially important as ground forces have been used for counterinsurgency operations, often operating in cavernous streets in recent wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. The service is nearly halfway through production of its 152 aircraft buy of Gray Eagles, with the final system due in fiscal year 2018. Attached to the Army's ground units, the Gray Eagle is not always operated through the Centralized Air Tasking Order in U.S. Central Command's Combined Air Operations Center. This allows ground commanders flexibility to call for support from Gray Eagle when needed, as operations unfold on the ground quickly. Concurrent fielding, however, of the Gray Eagle with the new AH-64 Echo Apache attack helicopter is expanding the utility of the system. Apache pilots have reported that during testing of using Gray Eagle video feed on targets, pilots were able to engage them before their own targeting systems could even locate them. This means that Gray Eagle is effectively extending the lethal reach of the Apache, which the Taliban have dubbed the Monster. The Echo model, fielded in Afghanistan for the first time this year, was purpose-built to give the pilot total control over the Gray Eagle, including access to the aircraft's video feed as well as control of its flight path. Army officials are now refining the strategy and technology to include the use of the Shadow UAV's imagery with other manned aircraft in the service. Meanwhile, General Atomics is looking to improve the aircraft. The so-called improved Gray Eagle would double the endurance to 50 hours and improve the payload by 50%. Today, it carries 500 pounds externally, including Hellfire missiles, and 575 pounds internally. Sensors include an electro-optical infrared ball that features a laser designator and a synthetic aperture radar. The Army is reviewing data on the improved Gray Eagle and will assess whether to replace its future purchases with the upgraded system, which features a wider fuselage and different composites. General Atomics is also qualifying a second engine for the Gray Eagle after its primary engine maker, Thielert, declared its own insolvency in 2008. General Atomics is in the process of standing up its own production of the Thielert design, mainly for repair and sustainment of fielded engines. The company maintains a stockpile for new builds, but this stockpile is limited.